All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is June 2nd. We got ourselves game one of the NBA Finals between my Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors. Right now, Warriors are three and a half point favorites. The total is 211 and a half. We got five plays for you guys that I do like today. We got two game plays and three player props. And as always, keep an eye on the pinned comment for any added plays but before we get into any of that today i'm gonna ask you guys to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet we are approaching 10 10,500 subscribers which is absolutely crazy i feel like we just hit 10 10k so make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys do have a play that you want me to jump on board with use hashtag ride of the day in the comments give me a play and i will be picking one person in the comments to jump on board with and you guys will get a shout out in the next video win or loss also i do want to take this time to shout out we'll play the music here too let's shout out the ballers here guys two dollars 99 cents a month you get exclusive perks on the channel like a logo next to your name in the comments you have some custom emojis that only you guys can use as well as myself and we're also introducing some other perks like ballers only giveaways which we are doing right now so be sure to join today two dollars 99 cents a month it supports the channel you guys also have exclusive perks like ballers only giveaways where we're going to be giving away some fade me merch to a lucky baller sometime in june and if you are a baller and have not seen it yet all you gotta do is make sure to find this in the community post or on the members tab of our channel and go drop your email in the reply to this and if you're not a baller yet hit that join button become a baller and then go ahead and find that post in the member section but like i said we got a three and a half point spread tonight warriors are favorited two eleven and a half is the total and let's jump right into my first pick and i get it you guys will probably say i'm biased which maybe there's a little bias here but we're rolling with the celtics plus three and a half and i don't even think that this is too biased informed or whatever i'm trying to say here i think this is a very valuable play here celtics in their last few games the warriors have always kept it close now obviously they blew them out um earlier this season in march 110 to 88 so let's throw that game out of here for a second a lot of guys in the warriors weren't playing there's a lot of injuries everywhere but if you look back before that um in december december 17 2021 golden state 111 to 107 win um, in April 17, 2021, the Celtics won 119 to 114. We look back again, um, February 2nd, 2021, Boston wins 111 to 107. These games are being decided by a handful of points, and these are not NBA Finals games. I do truly believe that these two teams can keep it close, and at least the Celtics can keep it close, if not take this game outright. I'm not being biased. The real green team or the bleed green in me wants to go with Celtics money line, but I'm going to take the points here. I do think the Celtics can keep this game within three points. Um, I'm seeing even if they lose, it's probably going to be a 108 to 106 type of a ball game, which also means that we're probably leaning over in this game. It's 211 and a half. That isn't one of my plays here for you guys, but I will say Celtics plus three and a half. I think that this is going to be a close game, a hard fought game. And that means it could come down to foul shots, one possession each way. I like the Celtics here plus three and a half for my pick number one. Pick number two, we're going with the Celtics first corner money line. Why you may ask? Well, the Warriors have been off for longer than the Celtics have, and I expect them to take that much longer to figure it out in the first quarter. And the Celtics, you know, they maybe have less rust to shake off than the Warriors. So we're taking the flyer here, plus money odds in this one. Celtics, first quarter, money line. I expect Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown to be ready to play basketball, or at least be more in basketball mode, playoff competitive, NBA Finals basketball mode than Klay Thompson and Steph Curry after they had a few more days off. So maybe it could be that little ounce of rust that the Warriors have to shake off because they, you know, sat out two extra days or so. Maybe that little, little, little bit. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden the Celtics come in and say, you know, no, we're ready. We're primed. We're willing to, we're willing to go and just boom, pedal to the metal. First quarter. Warriors, they may have some finding out to do about themselves. Obviously, um, beating the Mavs in five and the Celtics taking it to seven with the Heat. The Warriors have a way longer wait for this game. Um, all right. Our third play here. We're getting into some player props. First up, we have Kavon Looney under nine and a half rebounds. Now, I will admit, you're probably saying, Why? the heck are you taking a guy that in his last six games has two games of 18 plus rebounds an 18 rebound game on um, the last game against the mavericks and the last game against the grizzlies as well he had 22 
rebounds here. I may be the crazy one in the room, but I think that that rebound allotment that Kevin Looney, Kevon Looney, whatever the hell his name is, has been, has been a direct result of the competition that they have been playing. He averaged 10.6 rebounds per game against the Mavericks, who also, amongst playoff teams in the last seven games, have been the worst team against giving up rebounds to centers. The Celtics, amongst playoff teams in their last seven, fifth best at preventing center rebounds there. And obviously, you know, Lieber and company do not really have what the Celtics have to offer at the big man position. They go Robert Williams, Al Horford, and then hell, you could even throw Grant Williams at him if you want to get a little bit more physical. Kevon Looney's only six foot nine. He's not the biggest of players. I think the Celtics can really contain him and keep him to, you know, seven, six, seven, eight rebounds per game in this series, meaning a nine and a half rebounds for decent odds here at minus 110. I do not hate whatsoever. Next up, we're moving on to an under, another under. This one stinks because I would love this guy to strive in this series, but Al Horford under 10 and a half points. Now, Al Horford, simply put, I do think is doing a lot more than scoring for the Celtics team. If you look at his last four games, he has five points, 16 points, three points, and five points. In those games, he's also accounted for 13 rebounds, seven rebounds, nine rebounds, 14 rebounds, three assists, five assists, five assists, three assists, two steals, four blocks. He's everywhere. He's doing a lot for the Celtics team. I just don't think that he needs to be scoring. He is shooting a lot of threes. If we get a couple of those to fall early, we're going to have a tough time hitting this under. But Al Horford, at least we can say, is doing a lot more and not focusing on the scoring here now. He has had a couple big games in these playoffs, but last time he played against the Warriors, it was in mid-March. He had six points. He only shot the ball five times, and he's hit this Four out of his last six games. Six games coming against the Heat here. He's hit this under in four of his last six. I do truly believe that Al Horford, as much as I love and as much as I would love him to go for 40 points, I do think he's doing a lot more than scoring for the Celtics team. And we could see, you know, a seven, eight, nine point night from him throwing on nine more rebounds and four more assists than he really did contribute, just not on the scoreboard. All right, our last pick of the video. And again, keep an eye on the pinned comment. That is where all my final plays or any added plays will be at the bottom of the pinned comment. We have Andrew Wiggins is under, or over, sorry. Andrew Wiggins is over 16 and a half points here. Celtics of the playoff teams, second worst in the last seven games against small forward scoring. And Andrew Wiggins already is having a fairly good playoff run here. Um, and we saw what Jimmy Butler did against the Celtics. Jimmy Butler now obviously a little bit better of a player than Andrew Wiggins. I think we can all agree with that. But Andrew Wiggins in the playoffs here, averaging 16 points a game. But as of late, he's turned it on. In his last five games, he's averaging 18.6 points per game. In his last four games against the Celtics, three of which he was on the Warriors for, 31 points, 15 points, 22 points, and 27 points. He's covered this 16 and a half number on the over three out of his last five games and six of his last 11 games. So we're going with Andrew Wiggins. I don't love taking an old players over in points against the Celtics, but we got to do what the numbers tell us. So those are five plays as of right now. We might tack on a couple more. Make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment for any plays, but that is what we got for you guys today. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe as well. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, peace out.